heck of a game. Heck of a game in a much different locker room than it has been uh, over the last few weeks. So uh, proud of our guys. Uh, you know, again, uh, throughout that game, didn't matter if something bad happened or, or good happened. I mean, they, they really did a nice job of just staying level-headed and kept playing. We knew that it was going to be a 60-minute game. Uh, you know, didn't know that all the things were going to happen. But I can tell you, when adversity hit throughout the game, nobody really flinched. They just kept playing and uh, they kept believing in each other. So I'm proud of them. How impressed with you the quarterback's poison that last drive? I mean, he, you know, it's like I said that we were, as he was going out, I said, we got, you know, 307, three minutes. He said, we do this every week. It's no big deal. And he's right. I mean, we, we were working two minutes every week and been doing that since uh, the first day that we got here. And, and he's, uh, he's comfortable with it. I mean, if you look at our guys in a two minute situation, there is no, I mean, they're not uh, helter skelter. They're just, because we go at that pace all the time, so it's just very, uh, very calm for them. Actually, he looked comfortable throughout, throughout the Marquise. Oh, I thought you said I did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know better than that. Uh, yeah, Marquise, uh, he, he really was. I mean, throughout the game. I mean, you know, he really did a nice job of checking the ball down. I thought uh, there were there were times. I mean, he didn't push the ball into any coverages that he shouldn't have. He really he just checked it down when he should and. Uh, you know, I, I mean, he did a heck of a job tonight, really. I mean, the way he ran the ball, as always, and then the way through. This is really the first time this year you've gotten really good production from, from your running backs. Uh, was there any kind of adjustments, or was it just an emphasis on trying to get them involved a little bit more? Uh, I mean, I, I, I really, again, now you're, you're talking two weeks in a row that we've had our, our starting five back there and in, in, back up front, you know, with some reps under their belt. So I think uh, they're doing a better job, you know, and, and that's – that's uh, and then with Marquise being able to run, it's going to open up some things for the running backs also. So, uh, but those kids ran hard tonight. They did a nice job as a unit, you know, as a thrill. Offensive line was you mentioned the guys being like covered. It looked like they were equal parts good in pass protection and in helping the run. Where have they really grown the most last few weeks? I'd say run in the running game the last couple of weeks. I mean, we we've done a really pretty good job of uh, the pass protection. I mean. And a lot of that, you give credit to Mark Weiss because he'll get the ball out of his hands when he needs to. But, uh, you know, last week uh, he didn't really get pressured a whole lot, and tonight he didn't. I mean, you know, he was able to sit in there and throw the ball where he wanted to, and so you, that's why I think you saw him make really good decisions today. You gave up a lot of yards, but their possession time is only 31-30. Is that the stat you were looking at all that? Uh, you know, I, I, all I care, you know, for the defense, I mean, we face that def uh, that offense once a year, and it's, it's very difficult. I don't care how many yards. I mean, we, we, we just need to win the football game. So if we just need make one play that enable us to win a football game, then, then I'm good with it. And we'll put it to bed, and we won't think about it until we start figuring out what we want to do to defend it next year, you know, so because we're not going to see it again, you know, and it's, uh, that's, that's what makes it so tough, you know, and it's, it's tough on a defense to try to get ready in three days for that, for that offense. It is. After this game, is it, what's your opinion on the quarterback situation now? It hasn't changed. We obviously don't want to give up a touchdown there late, but was it almost good that it happened so quickly and you guys still have three minutes? Would you rather have that as opposed to? Yeah, we had, it was 3.07 on the clock and, and three timeouts, so that's a bunch of time, you know. So, you know, yeah, I mean, would, would I have preferred them to do that over, you know, milk uh, three minutes off the clock, give it to us with seven seconds? You, you bet, you know, I mean, but. I mean, you, you never know how it's going to happen. I mean, you really don't. You can't predict it. I mean, uh, but uh, fortunately, the, the thing that our guys did was when they did score, I mean, the offense, they never they never really thought much about it. We're going to go back out and we'll take it down and score, you know, because they knew they had a lot of time. So there was, there was really no panic involved because they knew we were going to continue to do the same things. We were going to run the ball, throw it when we needed to. And so I think they were pretty comfortable. Was that seven of your last nine possessions you guys scored? Is that what it was? Right. Is is this about what you envision? What you thought that this well, group we could do? More, we got more possessions today than than I expected. I mean, uh, in the last two years, I mean, we we haven't even gotten close to that. I think you said how many was it? Eleven. Okay, so that's more than what we expected. I mean, I was expecting nine. So, uh, you know, I think we were. If you look at it, we we had what four penalties tonight. Uh, one of them was on the uh, on the two point play. I can't remember what all the other. We had a holding on the, on the what, second or third play of the game uh, on the wide receiver. Uh, we had a bad sna you know, snap infraction on the uh, center, and I, I don't remember what the yeah, other false one start. was. False, false start. False start. So all four of them were on offense. Not one on special teams, not one on the defense.
you know, and, and uh, so, you know, the guys cleaned it up a lot better and did, did play much smarter. Ryan Switzer had a huge game for you guys. What allowed him to have that type of success, and how important was it that you guys got those big plays? Oh, it, was, it was obviously very critical. He scored two big touchdowns for us. You know, I mean, it was just uh, with what they were doing defensively. I mean, it, it, there were quite a few times where you know, the ball was going to get pushed to him. The deep one was, uh, was a play for him that was set up, and, and we got the coverage that we wanted. So uh, we felt, I mean, and he, he's one of the few guys that can actually run the route that we ran on that because it takes some time, and he, uh, he does a great job with it. And so uh, I mean, he really worked the safety over. And, and you know, I mean, you know, without those two touchdowns, we've been struggling. T.J. Logan ran hard. Yes, he did. He was a bull out there. Yeah, he, uh, you know, he stepped up. He really did. He, 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 there was not, it wasn't so much about let me, let me try to make you miss as it was I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to punish you when you tackle me. And that was, uh, that was nice to see that mentality out of him. Marquis said that he could throw the ball five yards out of bounds and Matt Collins would still catch it. <laughs> what do you think about his performance in that couple of days? Well, I, I think, you know, I love that Marquis truly has that kind of confidence in Mac, actually. He really does. And because Mac makes those plays in, the, in practice, he does it all the time. And uh, he loves to talk about it the whole time, too. <laughs> uh, and he, you know, I mean, that was a, and we talk about people have to make competitive plays. That was a competitive play. That's a competitive catch. You know, anybody can catch him when you're open. It's who can catch him when a guy's hanging on you or he's, he's got you covered, but the quarterback throws the ball to you. You got to make a play. And Mac's done that now numerous times in the games. How, how big was this? Not necessarily in the big picture, but just to, to get your kids. Uh, I mean, it was, yeah, it was huge. It was huge. I mean, we needed this more than anything right now. Uh, I mean, you guys know what, what we've been doing and what we've been going through. And, you know, I told you their guts were ripped out last week the way they played because they played they played hard and, and had a chance to win a game against the number five team in the country at that time. And so, I mean, I'm – you know, they needed this because they haven't wavered the way they've practiced. Their attitudes, they've kept believing. And, and let me tell you, that's not easy to do. That's not easy to do when the coaches keep preaching the same thing over and over and over. And everybody on the outside saying, nah, y'all be doing this, or y'all be doing that, or y'all be playing this guy or that guy. And all they do, all they do is stay focused and kept believing in what we're preaching and what we're, what we're teaching. And... You know, hopefully because of it, that's why we won a game. Do you leave this game still concerned about your defense, or do you say as long as we score more than one? Well, I'm, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm still concerned about the offense, the defense, and our special teams. We still didn't create a game-changing play on special teams. I mean, I got, I got all kind of concerns. But uh, I mean, I know we don't face this, this offense again. So I'm, I'm not going to be worried about that right now. But I got a lot of, a lot of things to worry about. We good?